Hi there, welcome to another episode. So today I want to be talking about a particular kind of game, one of my favourites, and um, yes, UN Squadron. Uh, UN Squadron was done by Capcom for the Super Nintendo. Um, now, when I first came across this game, one of my friends, he'd got a, a, what we call a UFO, um, which is a, something you put on top of the SNES and uh, uses discs and he got about 20 30 games he borrowed it me he says yeah there's loads of games play on them whatever you want now i never heard of even squadron um i only know it was in the arcade um i never really played much in the arcade and i started playing all these games that he'd got for you know his ufo and i was you know things like street fighter and um and uh, like uh, all, all the sort of games that were for it and this was one, it was a shoot em up. No, I wasn't a massive shoot em up fan. I liked arcade games. Now, this was an arcade, but I wasn't a shoot em up guy in the arcade. And um, I started playing it, and one thing straight away that struck me was um, the music. Some of the music is really good. Um, now, I, I, I like to listen to it a lot, um, and I think if you ever get a chance, or you have a chance to play it, listen to the music, because I think it's some of the best Capcom music and some of the best music I've heard on the Super Nintendo as well when it comes to arcade ports. Now, the first part I want to think of is, um, while I was playing this game, I was like uh, thinking, okay, yeah, this is not bad, this is not bad, this is a good shoot 'em up Now, it's what I would call better than the arcade. So in the arcade, you can choose three players, and each player has a particular kind of ship, and then you get offered, while well, you know, you, you're buying things, you, you, you earn money through each level, and you can buy things like a, a three-way or a, a hyper blast or whatever, or uh, homing missiles, and you can get either a super barrier or extra health as well. Now, they kind of stripped that down in the arcade, in the uh, SNES version, and basically what they did was then they give you six planes, and you buy your first plane, and each time you buy your plane, you can get the power up to like level 10, and then the second plane gets up to level 15, level 20, and 30, and 40. Um, uh, and then also each one has what they call uh, uh, power-ups so you can buy uh, bonus weapons so each plane so your first one starts off with like three or four power-ups and then once you've earned some more cash you can buy the next plane now it's got like five or six power-ups and then you this, the next plane which has got seven or eight power-ups and so by the time you got to the sixth plane you you can upgrade your uh, you know your main weapon to max it out because it'll accept it and also you've got like pretty much every power up on the grid that you can choose from and you can buy them at the beginning of each level and i think they've given it a bit of an rpg element which is absolutely fantastic now us squadron is one of my all-time favorite games especially on the super nintendo it is better than the arcade me personally some people might not think that do i love playing the arcade version now yes yeah, still love playing the arcade version now but this has given such a good emphasis on this is like an rpg element to it so you have to buy your planes, you earn more cash, you buy more planes. And the idea is to get to the highest plane by the time you're on the last level. There is a few extra levels on this as well, which are not in the arcade, which I think it makes it so much better. Um, I, can't, I can't praise this game enough. I think it's absolutely fantastic. If you are a shoot em up fan and you do like Capcom style games, highly recommend getting this one. Highly recommend giving it. I'm not a massive shoot em up fan. But I absolutely adore this. It's one of my favourite games uh, on, on the SNES. And it's probably one of my favourite shoot em ups on the SNES. I absolutely love it. The music is brilliant. The graphics are, you know, close to the arcade. The sound is scrolling. It, it, the graphics, the sound, the colour, everything is really good about it. You know, I think you look in, in, in a magazine and it gave it something like 95%. And they said that they actually said that it was better than the arcade. But I'd never tried this. I wasn't interested in it when I actually saw this review. And then when I actually played it for myself, I then started to like it and then got really into it. And then I actually went out and brought it and I could not stop playing it. It's one of the games I can go back to. I will love just a quick blast on it. And then you, by the time you're halfway through it, you have to get to the end. Oh, just a bit longer, just a bit longer. Now it is hard because you only get through like three credits. There's three levels of setting easy, medium, hard. Um, and it you know, will take some time, but it's once again one of those games you're going to get a bit further and a bit further and a bit further each time you play it. So on your first credit you'll probably get to the first three, four levels and then you're going to struggle for a bit and then get to the fifth or sixth level and then you're just so close towards the end. But by the time you've got your last plane, you've got all the power-ups, your, power, your main uh, fire weapon is maxed out. <laughs> If you've not
not played it before. If you're a shooting book fan, highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you watching, and I appreciate all the subscribers. And uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, mention anything in your comments below down there, if, in the comments below, that if you'd like to see what kind of games or what's your favourite, shoot them up. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.